Okay, we're on site today testing a Google Home Nest test with Rio Link to get it to work with the Rio Link doorbell. We did have some problems setting this up, so we had to contact Rio Link on why this is happening. Right now, we have the doorbell running through an NVR, which we found out does not support that. So we're going to take the doorbell here and disconnect this from the NVR, and we're going to plug it straight into a PoE switch. Try to configure it that way and give it a quick test to see how it works. They are going to start supporting the NVR directly, but for now we're just going to do a test. We have a new setup here. So basically I took the doorbell from here going into the NVR. I took it out of the NVR, put it into this PoE switch, which is on port one here. And then I basically took the PoE switch and connected it to the main internet switch over here on this side on this main big switch. Now that's a really simple setup. This is actually easier than the NVR because you're basically bypassing it. You don't need an NVR for this to work. So we're now gonna go over to the phone to configure the rest and then configure the Google Nest up here on top of this to view the doorbell camera. Now we're going to move over to the cell phone to configure the Google Nest device. Open the Google Home app. Allow notification, just press next and allow to allow notifications for home. Select the Google account or add an account for your Google Home app. This will link your Google account to your home account. Name your home. This will allow you to have multiple homes or locations like home and office. Also skip the address area unless you prefer to enter your address. Press settings to edit your home setting. Press add device, then select new device. It's now going to look for devices near you. It should find your Nest Hub as long as it has been plugged in and turned on. Once it finds your hub, it will want access to your camera to scan the QR code. Once the camera turns on, point it to the QR code on the screen of the Nest Hub. After it finds the QR code, it will start connecting to the Nest Hub. Your phone may disconnect from the Wi-Fi during this process. This is normal. Improved Nest Hub. This is optional sharing of data. I'm going to press no thanks. Where is the device located? You can select from one on the list or scroll to the bottom to add your own. Select your Wi-Fi and enter the password for your Wi-Fi. It will take a few moments to connect to your Wi-Fi and verify internet connectivity. Read the legal terms and agree to them to proceed. To get the full features of the Nest, you will need to agree. During the agreement, you are allowing Google access to the microphone and some third parties. If you're concerned with any of these, we encourage you to read the agreement and decide if this is right for you. Voice match section. If you have multiple family members, you'll want to skip this. Your assistant should be ready to go. You can edit these settings at a later time if you prefer to modify what you agree to and what you are allowing to personalize. These are optional additions. You can set up your accounts like Netflix, music accounts, sleep tracking, etc. These can be changed by going through the settings of the device at a later time. Review and press continue. Reviewing all the Nest Hub controls, this reviews all the sensors, buttons of the device, where they're located and what they do. The most important button here is the mic off button that is located on the back of the unit. Flipping it will announce that the mic is turned off. This concludes the Google Nest Hub setup, but let's jump over to the Rio Link app to get it talking to the Nest Hub. In the Rio Link app, you're going to click Add Device, which is the plus icon. It will start scanning. We're selecting Front Doorbell and press Add. Rio Link will connect your device and add it to your app. It will ask you for the username and password to access your camera. This should already been done from the other video that we've set up. If you're unsure, please go back to the other video that we have about setting up the Rio Link camera.
If everything is correct, it will show the doorbell camera. Push the down arrow located in the upper left of the screen to minimize that camera to get back to the main screen area. Now press the cloud tab located on the top of the screen. This will bring up the cloud menu, which will smart home, which is the lower button. This will show the cloud enabled devices. Click enable on the front door. Once it's enabled, it will change from the button to unbind. This means that it is connected now to real link. Now let's go back to Google home app and connect the two. Press the plus icon in the upper upper left corner to add device to the home. Press set up a device, which is the first button. Then press works with Google, which is the second button. Press the search icon in the upper right corner. Type real link and select real link smart home. It will ask you to confirm permissions to link your real link account to your Google account. Click continue. Log into your real link account. This is the account that you set up during the setup process of your real link camera. If you have not done this, I recommend that you go back to the video that we first created about how to set up your real link camera. You will need to allow real link X Google assistant access to the device. So click allow to continue and link the real link account to your Google account. It'll bring you back to the setup a device page. Press the back arrow button in the upper left corner twice to return back to the home screen. Now your Google account and real link accounts are tied. It should show up in the linked to you area of the home screen. After playing around and getting all the settings straightened out with my app on Google and Google Home, getting connected to Real Link, now we can just show the front door. So at this point, we're just going to tell Google to do that. So, okay, Google, show the front door. Got it. Streaming the front door on hallway display. Oh, there it goes. That took a second or two. Should probably try the camera at this point. So, okay, Google, close the front door. And now it's back to the main screen. Is this right for everyone? For the convenience that you get with the connecting your real link camera to your Google Nest device, you lose a lot of security and privacy. If you read through all the requested access areas that Google Nest device needs in order to talk to real link, you would be shocked that now you're allowing these two services to obtain your video feed and distribute it without your knowledge or request. If you don't care about third parties reviewing your doorbell, then this is a nice feature to have. But for me, I wouldn't use this feature, but this is for a few reasons. Not just privacy, by the way. So reason one, the setup forces you to agree to distributing your doorbell camera feed to a large company that you don't have control over. That's the main reason. Reason two, this setup doesn't allow for it to operate with an NVR. This unit has to be outside the NVR and makes it more difficult to control the network infrastructure of where your device is distributing video. This will be fixed in the new ver firmware of your NVR, but for now, this is how it operates and requires a separate PoE switch to connect to the doorbell. Reason three, the delay for opening up the camera on the screen does take about five to 10 seconds. Sometimes it's quicker and sometimes it's slower, but the app is more reliable and I always have the phone on me, which I believe is easier than using a device that is a stationary device. Reason four, when pressing the doorbell button, the Google Nest doesn't ring or show the front door. You need to request it to show the front door. I think this could be fixed in software, but for now, this is a very large big deal breaker for me as it is not now convenient compared to the app where the app actually shows a notification. Until Real Link fixes a few of these little problems as well as maybe removing a load of the privacy issues, I think this is just better off that you use the app on your phone or maybe your computer to actually view your doorbell. By the way, the Google Nest Home can do a whole bunch of other stuff like watch videos, play music. It could also control lights and some other stuff. So this is just basically focusing really on real link, but you can do all those other things as well. It does add a little more value compared to just only with integration to real link. Please uh, stay subscribed or if you're not subscribed, get subscribed. We are having more videos coming up. We do have some more real link cameras that we are testing. We are gonna be testing some PTZ cameras, as well as some larger cameras that have um, two-way viewing, which allows you to view a more panoramic view. And it also has a nice built-in light, uh, floodlight that's built into it. So those, um, those camera reviews will be coming up soon, and we will probably have some more on-site stuff to show you. See you in the next one.